look in the mirror Man, you so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately, it's you Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show If you're easily triggered, leave now because this is not the show for you Now, what I'm going to do for you today is show you a terrible example of a woman who is very vindictive a scam artist and a, among other things i can't say so it's imperative that you see the first part of this three-part um clips i'm going to show you is judge Mathis, and i'm going to break down this woman's mindset that's all i can say let's just go ahead and get to it one second you got to hear this one second there it is. None of the four were determined to be his child? No. Why do you think these ladies are doing this? I, you know, I, I don't know. You know, my son was very popular and, Did he have you know, a lot he, of money or something? Did he leave? Somewhat, you know, he didn't leave any, he didn't leave anything. Um, Insurance policy? He was, no. The people that were with him when he was shot, they actually, they robbed him you know after the main point here i want you to understand this is a man's mother crying in the court the man that she's crying over is her son her son was shot down um he was a, a dude who was trying to be a rapper aspiring rapper you know how that go trying to make it big and stuff and he got shot down and when he got shot down the people who was um uh, assaulted him shot him down robbed him as well okay i want you to know that part first because that's very important i don't want you to hear what this other woman said then it's gonna get real deep um, ma'am what do you want to tell me um i'll just start from the beginning on how i met kelly mm -hmm. um it all started in 2014 um i was out and about and he's a rapper he was selling some cds and his number and his name was on the back of the cd and he said if you basically are interested let me know what you think about the track and I called him and I said okay and one night well I hit him up and I said okay let's hang out one night and then one thing led to another and that's how Lamaya came and then somewhere up the how line. How long did you all date? Um just we wasn't dating it was a one night stand. Okay. And I was already in a relationship with somebody but we wasn't. Okay that's the next point all right. This woman was sleeping around. She already had a boyfriend while she was messing with the mother's son who wants to be a rapper. Okay, let's keep going. Relationship with somebody, but he wasn't. So did he ever acknowledge paternity? Yes, but I preferred not to get a DNA test because I already knew he was the dad. Because what? Because I already knew he was the dad, so I decided not to get a DNA test. But weren't you dating someone else? Yes, I was already messing with him at the time while being in a relationship and I that's what i'm saying if you're dealing with two guys how are you able to determine it was him we wasn't intimate or nothing like that, or that you weren't period. intimate no we wasn't like intimate did you all. have sex no not with that one just him okay whoo <laughs> no not no no not with that that was an easy answer there all right and that was 2014 and what has been discussed since then regarding fatherhood? Yes, he asked me the first time, and mm -hmm. I said no. I didn't, you know. You said no? Why? I felt like there was no need to take the test because right then and there I already knew. Did he ever admit that he was the father? No, he denied her when I told him. Okay, so for two years, the father was denying. Mm hmm Yes or no? Yes, he was denying. He offered yes. to take a paternity test. Yes or no? Yes. And you refused? Yes. This man offers. Now, I want you to notice this, right? The man, all right, she told the man who was, you know, murdered, basically, you know what I'm saying, um, taking out the game, whatever you want to call this. She told him that she was pregnant. And that she was pregnant with his child. Okay? I'm trying to find the next clip on, y'all. One second. Okay. 
Now, she told him this, right? And then he didn't believe it. He denied the paternity for two years. And his reason for that is he doesn't know whether or not that was his child. So he asked for a paternity test. He was willing to take a, pert a paternity test, pay child support, and take care of his responsibility. She denied him the paternity test. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say some of what I believe happening here. This man was an aspiring rapper. If he would have made it big or if later in life, if he became successful in anything, she was going to try to stick that baby on him after he became successful in some capacity. And she knew if she did a paternity test on him, there would be no denying that he is the father. So what happens is this. She doesn't know the future of that young man. She doesn't know if he's going to be a piece of crap, if he's going to make it big in music, if he's going to be a successful man at all. If she has documentation showing that that man is the real father of that child, then she cannot pin that baby on another man. The other man that she was sleeping with, she said she wasn't, which is a lie. She had, I believe it's a lie. I think that's Cap. She had another boyfriend, and she said she never slept with him, but got with this other man and had a one-night stand. So again, she needed to have her options open. If she's going to have a baby, she doesn't need anything concrete. No real documentation pinning it on a man who is not successful. If the other man she was sleeping with became successful later in life, then she could have said, this is your baby. This is the scam that I believe she was trying to pull. Because name one woman who turns down a paternity test, especially when they know they can get some type of government assistance for that. Especially when they know they can get child support from that man. There are some women who do it, but not in this type of situation here. Okay? A man who wants to know. For two years, you refuse him, and now he's deceased. Let's keep going. We're not through yet. Let's keep going. You, know. you said no. Why? I felt like there was no need to take the test because right then and there, I already knew. Did he ever admit that he was the father? No. He denied her when I told him. Okay. So for two years, the father was denied. Mm hmm Yes or no? Yes, he was denying it. He offered yes. to take a paternity test. Yes or no? Yes. And you refused? Yes. <laughs> this man offers to take a paternity test. And you say, nope, I'm not going to assist in proving this. That's what you're saying. I'm not going to assist in proving who the father of my child is. Go ahead, ma'am. I, this is my first time ever hearing that from what, from what I understood, you know, Kelly knew that, that, you know, that she had had the baby and they had discussions. She never said that she denied him, you know, the DNA test. My son has two boys. This is a picture of his oldest son. My son is a very good father to his kids. <laughs> I don't understand why would she deny him that he wanted a little girl? Why would you deny him the opportunity? To be a part of the child's life. And now he's gone. To he'll him never passing. know that he had a daughter. Right. He had a daughter right there for two years. He got so many men who run from that responsibility. Here this man comes and says, I want to take this paternity test to establish paternity. And you refuse to allow him to do so. So he dies without the opportunity to spend time with who you believed was his child, but because you wouldn't allow him to establish paternity, he had no reason to think so. If a woman told me, no, I'm not going to take no paternity, I said, oh, you lying then. Either you were playing games or you lying? It's both. It's mostly playing the game. Okay? I'm not going to... I think you already know what the result's going to be, but I'm just going to say it like this, man. Women play games too much with other people's lives, with babies' lives, with men's lives, with everybody's lives. This woman was a conniving, spiteful woman. That's evil. That's a Jezebel spirit if I ever seen it. How can you have an innocent baby and believe that you know who the baby's father is, but then do everything in your power to keep that child from having any type of connection with his father. 
this happens more than you think. Men fight for their children all the time. And women, like I said before, women like to say, how come men don't fight for their families and their children? And as I always reply, the question is, why is it that men have to fight for their families anyway? Why are you making it so hard for a man to be with his child? You get what I'm saying? It is terrible. And this is a young woman. But there are many more women like her who play games with people live. Now this man is deceased. He's gone. He'll never be able to hold his daughter. He'll never be able to look into the daughter's eyes and say, I am your father and you are my child. Because there will always been some type of wedge because there was no confirmation. He was trying to do the right thing. Women will leave you when you try to do the right thing. Women will go against you when you do the right thing. It's not always when you do the wrong things. You can be doing everything right. Why do you think women or men, excuse me, why do you think men say their wives left them? Most men don't see it coming because women will tell them that they get bored and they begin to plan on separating from their husbands. And there are many women like Tyrese Gibson wife, other women than her who say that my husband was the perfect man. He did everything right. As far as I know, he didn't cheat on me. He never put his hand on me. He wouldn't do any of this stuff. I just left him because I just wanted better opportunities for myself. So again, today's modern day women will leave you gentlemen for doing the right thing. Let that sink into your mind. If you are a good man, if you are really being a provider and protector and a guide and a teacher of your child and all these other things, the things that women claim that they want, they will not appreciate it. Some may resent you for being such a good person, but at the end of the day, they will still leave you for being a good man. They will still leave you for doing the right things. So how can you win? You're damned if you do, and you're damned if you don't. Let's keep going. And the game you play is with your two-year-old daughter, who if she is his daughter, you wiped away her opportunity to meet her dad and to spend time with her dad. Wiped it away. Child going to look at this case sometime in the future. Say, wow. My mom did that. Wish I'd have been able to say my daddy held me as a baby. Wish I'd have been able to say my daddy used to come over and see me. Here's pictures of me and my dad. Oh, man, it's going to get deeper than that, man. But I just wanted to point this out. This is not no like TikTok video either. This is real life situation that I'm showing you right now of how these women are wicked and evil, spiteful, vengeful selfish you get what i'm saying malicious you know how much malice you got to have in your heart to do something like that i'm gonna play the last clip be prepared when i was six months 12 months 18 months 24 months now she has zero pictures of her <laughs> being with her dad if he is the father we don't know yet and I'm going to stop talking so uh, hurtful about it because I hoped you had some feelings for him too. And now that he's dead, I don't want to um, inflame any grief or any um, a sorrow. So we'll get the test and we'll know the probability that the child is your grandchild and is the child of your son. Folks play games and this is what happens. I have yes. a grandchild, Nora. Uh, and one of the things I've been able to take pride in is I take a picture with her every couple of weeks. I even put it on the internet. Some yeah. folks see on Judge Mathis Facebook. And one of the things I say to myself, I say, well, if anything happens to me tomorrow or the next day or the next day, for the rest of her life, 
when she hears about her granddad was Judge Mathers, either he was a big deal or they may say he's a scoundrel. Your granddad was a scoundrel. <laughs> Judge Mathers was a scoundrel and that was your granddad or Judge Mathers was a whatever and he was your granddad. She's able to say, let me show you a picture of me and my scandalous granddad. <laughs> so that being said, what you just heard benefits her yep. more than me because something happened to me I'm in heaven trying to see how she's reacting yes heaven <laughs> I'm looking down <laughs> I'm looking down seeing how her life is going so we're both happy but she's happier because she has that to show other people and so that's who you've done a disservice to, ma'am, if this child is her grandchild. And the results indicate that there is a 87.5% chance that you've done a grave injustice to your child. <laughs> I not that is some bullshit, man. Oh shit. So you got a grieving mother on the other side who don't know well who didn't know for sure that she had a grandchild. All because of this musty back helper right here. <laughs> By not allowing her to see her father. <laughs> not one hundred percent, but beyond a reasonable doubt. Uh, not one hundred percent, but beyond a reasonable doubt. So she kept that man from his child for two years, even though he was all he was doing was requesting. See, she was trying to not get it. Another reason why she was trying to keep him from getting a paternity test because she can keep asking him for money too. You know what I'm saying? Because what if she did get a paternity test and that child wasn't his? Then the money would be cut off. All this is greed. All this is money, man. This woman had ulterior motives, man. This woman is a scoundrel. Okay, this woman is low life, trifling, doggish, in my most humble opinion. But there are women out there, gentlemen, who think just like her. It just so happened that this woman got caught. Imagine all the other women who have not been caught doing this type of shit here. You know, so I just hope. Ooh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Well, anyway, I uh, hope I put something on your mind. <clears throat> hope I put something on your mind today. I know it might make you feel something, some type of way. Cause I felt some type of way when I saw this. Well, anyway. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have a live stream. I believe it's Friday. I think you want to tune in. It's not going to be my little ratchet ghetto things I've been doing for the last two. And it's going to be some shit that I normally cover, like on this serious thing that I'm doing. You know how I do throughout the week. I have serious content with these type of topics. I have a good one. It's going to be a reaction video. I'm probably going to bring some statistical data. It's going to be a real serious one. And it's going to be called uh, Black Women Act Like Jezebel. And I'm going to show you a whole lot of stuff. And I'm going to give you my analytical commentary on everything that I see. Okay? So tune in this Friday at 5.30 Central Standard Time for the live stream. 5.30 Central Standard Time for the live stream. I'll see you there. Take it easy. Ooh, 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 ooh.